In these problems, we're using the slope-intercept method to graph the equation of a line. So we're given an equation here, y equals negative one-half x plus five, and we're going to graph that. How do we go about doing that? Well, this line right here, this equation, is written in slope-intercept form. That's when you have y all on one side, all by itself, and then everything else on the other side. And when that's the case, the slope is whatever is multiplied by x. Slope is m. And the y-intercept is the number that's sort of left over after the x term. So in this case, the slope is negative one-half, and the y-intercept is five. So the first thing I would do is just plot the, the point for the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So this is the y-axis. And we want to go up to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's our y-intercept. Now the slope. Slope is rise over run. And we have a negative 1 half, so I'm going to write that as a negative 1 over 2. So our rise is negative 1. That means it, it's going to go down 1. And our run is 2. So for every 1 that it goes down, it goes over to the right 2. So I could go down one and over two, and down one and over two, and down one and over two. And there is my line. I can sketch that in here. Let's try one more. All right, so this one says, which of the following represents the graph of a line with a y-intercept of negative 2 and a slope of 4. Well, let's look at the y-intercepts. They all seem to be down at negative 2, so that's not actually helping us very much. Um, but the slope of 4, how can we find the slope of 4? Well, remember, slope equals rise over run. Now, 4 is not a fraction, but we can write it as 1. 4 over 1 is the same as 4. So our rise is 4 and our run is 1. What that means is it goes up 4 and over 1, up 4 over 1. So it's going up a lot and only over a little bit. That's going to give us a nice steep line like that. And if you're not sure about that, you can always count. So I think it's going to be D. Let's start at our y-intercept, which is negative 2, and we'll go up 4 and over 1 and see if we're still on the line. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then over 1, and I'm still on the line. So this looks like it matches a slope of 4. One thing to remember about uh, slopes of lines, any positive slope is going to slope up and to the right. Any negative slope is going to sl slope down to the right. And the bigger the slope is, the steeper it gets. These shallow slopes like this are usually fractions, so one-fourth or one-third or something like that. And steep ones like this are usually bigger numbers, bigger than one. Let's do one more. Okay, here it says, graph the equation on a rectangular coordinate system, and we have x plus y minus five equals zero. How are we gonna graph that? It's not in slope-intercept form, which is the way I like to have them when I'm, when I'm graphing things. But I can put it in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form has the y on one side and all the other stuff on the other side. So let's just use algebra to do that. I can move this x over by subtracting it from both sides. That would give me y minus 5 equals negative x. And then I can get rid of that 5 on this side by adding 5 to both sides. So my equation is going to be y equals negative x plus 5. So our y-intercept is 5. And as I look at these graphs, well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, that one looks like 5. That one looks like 5. That looks like 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be c. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it could be D. So we've eliminated 1 already. But what's the slope? I don't have a number multiplied by x. It just says negative x. 
Well, when you don't have a number in front of a variable like this, you can think of the coefficient, the number, as just being the number 1. So our slope here is negative 1. And if you wanted to write that as a, as a fraction, you could put negative 1 over 1. So our rise will be negative 1, meaning it'll go down 1, and our run will be 1. So we'll go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. The only line up here that's left that we haven't eliminated yet that goes down is this one. And remember, this is a negative slope, so it's going to slope down to the right. And if you wanted to verify, you could start here and count over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, and you stay on the line every time. So that's a little bit of work with graphing using the slope-intercept method.